So my message is equal to say four bits. Then how many redundant bits I have to use? Okay. Now what is the expression we are using? Two power r should be greater than or equal to m plus r plus one. Okay, so m is equal to 4 plus r plus 1, which is r plus 5. Okay, 2 for r should be greater than or equal to r plus 5. So, which gives us r is equal to 3. So, r is equal to 3, 2 power 3 is equal to 3 plus 5. So this is how we can identify the number of redundant bits needed. Now, I want to send a message, four bit message, say 1011. I want to send this information 1011. Now total I have to send M plus R bits. So my total message, message to be transmitted message to be transmitted is equal to m plus r bits. Now I have to send 4 plus 3, 7 bits. I have to send 7 bits. Okay. So how we are going to decide what are the three redundant bits? how they are being sent, what is the position of those bits. These things we will identify and accordingly we will see what is the message to be transmitted first. Once we will transmit that, now we will go to the receiver. So if the receiver receiving that information, how the receiver is going to identify whether the received information is having any errors or not. If any error is there, how that can be detected and corrected. So those things we'll see. So for that, we'll take this example. Okay. So for that, let the M I want to send is 1011 as we have already talked about. Now for this, we need R is equal to 3 bits. Okay. Now total... 7 bits to be transmitted. To transmit these 7 bits, say those 7 bits are D7, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, and D1. Out of these 7 bits, where the message bits will be, where the redundant bits will be. So we cannot put redundant bits wherever we want. So appropriate position is there for each redundant bit. So the appropriate position for the each redundant bit is, so 2 power 0 is first redundant bit. 2 power 0 means 1. So D1 will be the first position for the redundant bit R1. Then next position will be 2 power 1. So 2 power 1 is 2. So this is the position for the second redundant bit R2. Then the third redundant bit position, 2 power 2. 2 power 2 is 4. So this is the third redundant bit position, R4. Now our redundant bits are R4, R2, R. And remaining positions will be our message. So that is 1, 0, 1, 1. So D3 is 1, D5 is 1, D6 is 0, D7 is 1. So as per our message 1, 0, 1, 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. This is how now we have identified the position of message and redundant bits. Now it is time for us to find out 
what should be the value of R4, whether it should be 0 or 1. Value of R2 should be 0 or 1. Value of R1 should be 0 or 1. How are we going to find out the value of this? So for that, so what we'll do is we will write a truth table for this R4, R2, R1. Okay, so three bits. With three bits, the possible combinations are eight. Let us write all possible combinations. Zero, one, one. One, zero, zero. One, zero, one. One, one, zero. One, one, one. These are the eight combinations. If you see this, so for the column for R1, the position, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1. So what are the positions for R1? So R1 position is 1, 3, 5, and 7. That is 0, 0, 1. R1 position is 0, 0, 1. Means 1. Next, 0, 1, 1 is 3. Next, 1, 0, 1 is 5. Next, 1, 1, 1, 7. So for R1, so now I want to find out for R1, the positions are 1, D1. Then 3 is 1. Next, 5 is also 1. 7 is also 1. So these are these three bits are from our message. So that we are not going to disturb. Whatever our message bits are there, so those we are not going to disturb. They should be used as it is. Now we have to find out what will be the value of this particular one. Okay. Next for R2. So for R2, you see, this is R2. This is for R2. This is for R2 and this is for R2. So what is the value of this? 0, 1, 0 means 2. 0, 1, 1 is 3. 1, 1, 0 is 6. 1, 1, 1 is 7. So now it is for this R2. 3 is 1. Then 6 is 0. So this is the 6 is 0. And the 7 is 1. This is for R2. Next is for R4. Next is for R4. So for R4, what is the position? 100, 101, 110, 111. So 100 is 4, 101 is 5, 110 is 6, 111 is 7. So 4, 5, 6. This is 4 is R4, this. Then 5 is 1, 6 is 0, 7 is 1. Now we have identified all the appropriate positions for this. Now, what will be the value of R1? So we have to write R1 value at this point. R2 value at this point. R4 value at this point. So how are we going to decide how we'll write the value of R1? So for that, let us follow. Let us follow even parity. That means now this first row should have even number of ones, such a way that we should make R1 bit. We should select R1 bit such a way that this row will have even number of ones. Now the row is having already three ones, so odd number of ones. If R1 is one, then we will have even number of ones. So our aim is we should have even number of ones in a row. So such a way we are going to select the value of R1. So in this case, the value of R1 is 1. Next for R2. So in the second row, two ones are there already. Then we can select R2 is 0 because already even number of ones are there. If you select R2 is 1, it becomes odd. So we cannot use R2 as 1. So R2 is 0. Next in the third row, so 101 one, R4 we don't know. 
So how many ones? Even number of ones. Two ones are there. So even number of ones are already there. So R4 should be zero. This is how we have to select the different values for R1, R2, R4. All the redundant values we are going to identify like this. Next, what we have to do, we write the, what is the total seven bits of data we want to send. Now first, D1 is one, because D1 is nothing but R1, that is one. Next, D2 is nothing but R2, that is zero. Next, D3 is one, which is a message bit. Next, D4 is zero, redundant bit. D5 is one, message bit. D6 is zero, D7 is one. So what we have to send is we have to transmit. This is the information from the sender. Okay. The moment the sender sends this information, the message to be transmitted is 101010101. So this is the seven bit message to be transmitted. Okay. So that is what is happening at the sender side. Next at the receiver place, the information received is, so D7, D6, D5, D4, D3, D2, D1. Okay, so 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let us assume that no errors. Whatever is transmitted is received as it is. Okay, whatever is transmitted will be received as it is. Let us find out first this. Then we will see whether we are going to have any errors or not. Okay. So first again, so we have to identify for R1. What are the positions of R1? D7, D5, D3, T1. For R2, D7, D6, D3, D2. For R4, D7, D6, D5, T4. If you see this, first row, So even number of ones, no error. The second row, even number of ones, no error. Third row, even number of ones, no error. So error is zero. Okay, error is zero. Now let us uh, take one error. Now let us Assume that there is one error. So that is, or let us write only the number 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Assume that they are D7, D6, 2, D1. So what is the value? Suppose, suppose now uh, we will receive, we say 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 1. So that means this particular bit. So instead of 1, 0, instead of 1, say 0 is being received. So this bit, let us assume that this is having some error. So that, that is bit number 5. Okay. So hope everyone understood. Now assume that bit number 5 received is wrong. So now for R1, what are the bits? 7, 5 is 0, 3 is 1, 1 is 1. And for R2, 7, 6, 3, 2. For R4, 7, 6, 5, so for the first, we should have even number of ones received, but only odd number of ones received. That means there is error in the first row. 
Okay, there is error in first row. Now in the second case, so in the second case, two ones are received. So that means even number of ones received no error. In the first case, there is error. Then in the third row, so even number of ones to be received, but only one received, that is odd. So there is error. Okay, there is error. So if you see this error value 101, so 101 means 5. So there is error in bit number 5. So we can easily identify that bit number 5 is having error. Bit number 5 is having error. Okay, so directly we can go to bit number 5. It should not be 0. We should have received this as 1. Okay, but we have received 0. Now at the receiving site itself, it can be corrected from 0 to 1. This is how the error correction can be done at the receiver if single error is detected. If it is error is a single error, can be detected and corrected. Okay. Now, let us assume that two errors are received. If there are two errors, then how those two errors would be corrected? So for that, we'll take, just remember our date, our value, our data to be transmitted is 1010101. Okay. So I may be clearing this. Now, so already what is the data to be transmitted is 1010101. Okay. If there is one error, we have already identified. Now let us assume that this is the data to be transmitted. Now, if it is transmitted like this, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So that means these two bits. These two bits are errors. Okay, now let us assume that these are the two bits have error. So bit number 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so receive data is 10, 11, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. But original data to be received is one zero one zero one zero one. Okay. Now for this R one. Check for R one. So R one is bit number seven, bit number five, bit number three, bit number one. And for R two, bit number seven bit number 6, bit number 3, bit number 2. And for R4, bit number 7, bit number 6, bit number 5, bit number 4. Okay. Now let us see. Let us see. So, first row, R1. We have to supposed to receive even number of ones, but we have received odd number of ones. So that means there is error. The R2 row, so even number of ones we are supposed to receive, but we have received odd number of ones. Again, it indicates there is error. And R4. So even number of ones we are supposed to receive, but we have received odd number of ones. Again, there is error. Okay. Now if you see this, that is equal to seven. It is saying that bit number seven is having error. That means now it is saying that this bit is error. But what is happening now? Actually speaking, one zero one zero one zero one. So actually speaking, so what happened? These two. That means bit number four and three are having error. But it is 
giving us the information. Pick number seven is having the error. Instead of saying that bit number four and three are errors, so it is saying bit number seven is error. Okay, that is how. So it is saying that there is error, but where exactly the error is cannot be identified. So multiple errors can be detectable, but they cannot be identified. They cannot be corrected. We will know that there is something wrong. But if you see this a particular example, so where the error is, bit number four and three are having errors. But the mechanism is saying bit number seven is having error. So the receiver, what the receiver does, he will simply instead of one, I should have received zero. The receiver will say that. Then if the receiver is saying that, it is being corrected like this. Now, see R1, even number of ones, no error. R2, even number of ones, no error. R4, even number of ones, no error. That's how he is going to interpret, which is misinterpretation, misjudge. So that is why only single error can be detected and corrected. That's what we have seen in the previous screen. But multiple errors, probably we can able to detect multiple errors like this. There are something wrong, but where exactly the error is not identifiable. So this is a problem with timing code. That is why, so generally, the Hamming code is not being used now because the receiver doesn't know whether there is a single error or multiple errors. If it happens to be single error, probably the receiver will correct. But there is no guarantee that whether single error or not. Now I can say, so in this from this particular example, because I don't know what is exactly the data the sender is sending. I have received this. The moment I applied the error checking Hamming code, I found that there is wrong with bit number seven. I may be thinking that only one error is there in this. Only one error is there. So I simply I'll correct it. I don't ask for retransmission. I'll make this. But ultimately, the sender sending is this. But what I am receiving is, so after corrections, receiving is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the information received ultimately. Okay, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. But original message to be, Received is this. With this mechanism, received is this. That means receiver is not getting the actual information. So this problem is there. That is the reason still Hamming code is not being used for error detection and correction purpose. So that is why present network communication, they are using only error detection mechanisms not being corrected at the receiver because of the problem like this because of the problem like this so receiver may be able to judge the wrong position for the errors so this is going to be problem 